Most vibration tests rely on a vibration fixture to connect the test device to the laboratory shaker table surface. The outcome of the vibration test can be influenced by fixture resonances or attenuation. Ideally, we'd prefer that the vibration fixture was infinitely stiff. In order to transfer the same levels of vibration to all of the mounting locations on the device under test. Frequently though, even with a good fixture design, it isn't always possible for a vibration fixture to be completely free of resonances or attenuation regions in the frequency range of the test profile. When this happens, the vibration technician can sometimes use a control strategy called multi-channel averaging to reduce the effect of fixture resonances or attenuation. Many vibration tests are controlled using a single accelerometer mounted to the shaker table surface. The vibration controller should have no trouble maintaining the test profile on the shaker table surface within the necessary tolerances. This type of control is called single channel control. If the fixture does exhibit resonances or attenuation regions within the frequency range of the test profile, these characteristics may be concealed with single channel control. Attaching additional accelerometers to the DUT mounting points can reveal if the fixture resonances or attenuations are shifting the test profile out of tolerance at the DUT mounting points. The vibration controller can use these additional out of tolerance accelerometer channels and by averaging them along with the intolerance table surface acceleration channel, optimize all of the channels by utilizing the full positive and negative width of the test profile tolerance. Some experimentation with which channels to use in the average calculation may be necessary to get the best possible outcome. This type of control is called multi-channel averaging. In some cases, where the test profile is not excessively out of tolerance at the DUT mounting locations, multi-channel averaging may make it possible to bring all of the acceleration channels within tolerance. However, when a fixture exhibits very large resonance magnification or attenuations, multi-channel averaging may not bring the profiles within tolerance. So this technique shouldn't be considered as a cure-all for poorly designed vibration fixtures, but rather as an additional tool to assist in optimizing the performance of an already well-designed and fabricated fixture.